I'm something different. Hey everybody, it's B Diz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about some of the rumors about Ghostface and Scream 6. Let's go. The first rumor is that Evan could be Ghostface. As far as details, all we really know about him is that he's socially awkward and he opens up and is more outgoing when he drinks. Also, that he doesn't handle rejection very well. So one of the rumors is that Chad and Tara are a couple, but Evan likes Tara, so there could be this love triangle dynamic. Tara could also reject him, that could be his motive for being Ghostface. I think that would be pretty freaking lame because that's similar to Charlie from Scream 4, liking this girl that doesn't like you back for however long, that would be kind of whack. Next is that there is only one Ghostface killer, and the killer has nothing to do with all the characters. Ghostface was hired by whoever to take out the characters. Also, that Ghostface could have military or law enforcement training, explaining Ghostface using stealth in the Gale scene, also quickly avoiding a shotgun blast, and also using a shotgun. Also, Ghostface telling Gale, I'm different, kind of goes with everything I said. I think a Ghostface killer for hire would be cool because that's something we've never seen before. I think it would depend on the motive of the person who hired Ghostface, which will determine if this important plot point is good or not. The reveal could be awesome or ruin the build up and viewing experience. Next rumor is there is a cult, meaning there could be a bunch of Ghostface killers, like more than two or three, like a bunch. There could be a bunch of wannabe ghost faces, which depending on how this is pulled off, could be an interesting plot point because whenever our characters are being chased, we won't know if it's a wannabe ghost face or the real one, so the tension and anxiety will be spiking a lot more. Oh, there are rumors that Kirby or Tara could be Ghostface. I think it would be pretty freaking whack if they were because they're like a whole 5 foot nothing and they're way too freaking small. I know they use stunt doubles, but realistically, you would kind of know if your friend that's super shorter than you is wearing this costume. It would be kind of silly and break the mood as a viewer. Something I thought that could be cool if executed right was if Ghostface is actually never revealed. Like what if Ghostface doesn't die in the movie? It would be a first time thing that could really leave us on a cliffhanger and wondering who Ghostface or the Ghostface killers were and we have to wait to find out. I know it could piss off a lot of fans, but it could also be cool if done right. It will be something different that we've never seen before. The last rumor I have is that Gail could die in the movie. The scene of her getting attacked is supposed to be the climax of the movie. Plot wise, her dying could be the way for Sydney to be pulled back into the Scream universe for the seventh movie, which is supposed to be the last entry in the Scream franchise. Pretty much like in Scream 3, when the killing started back up and Sid came out of hiding. But yeah, that's everything I got for the video. Let me know in the comments what rumors you think could be true and what rumors you think could be complete crap. Like and share the video, subscribe to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.